Alright, so, um, this is part 10. Part 10 has a lot of stuff in it, so, uh, it's gonna be split up into two parts for, uh, two main tasks. The first task is to get, uh, ship worker to shoot bullets when you tell it to. Now, uh, this is complicated, and, uh, it may just be split up by time and not by task because the tasks are a little uneven but you need uh, two sprites first one is just if you're doing a fantasy style RTS then the simplest thing to do would be a sword or a sword and shield or a spear something that looks like a weapon if you're not doing a fantasy or you don't want to do a weapon for your icon just make something that looks like a cursor and that looks violent. This is what I came up with. Sticking with my old color scheme with the lime green and on a red background, so we got it. And make sure you make it... How big is it again? Uh, I think it's 20 by 20. You need to take three pixels off each side. So that means 3 to my 6... 26 sounds about right so you need to make it 26 by 26 on a 32 by 32 uh, sprite and you need to have it centered and then make sure it's actually centered in the sprite because that's going to be your cursor and then you can just copy that and you can put it in your button and that saves a little time so just map out your button, do some nice opacity for it, make it look nice, just like the other buttons, and then just paste your violent looking cursor in there. Like I said, just make it look violent. Then we need a couple new objects, uh, three to be exact. First one is attack underscore button. When you left release on it, you can almost duplicate the other, uh, like, move. Uh, what it does is it sets global.cursor is equal to 3, semicolon, and then it leaves a comment, which is cursor 3 equals attack. So 3 is when you attack. And then we set the cursor to sprite, whatever your violent looking sprite is, and don't show the cursor. And that's all you need for a uh, attack button. That's fine. Um, then we need attack underscore spot. This is pretty important. Uh, we need a piece of code in the create event which says alarm in brackets zero equals two semicolon so when you create an object all alarms if it's set in the top go back one step because that is a step next step it'll go to zero which will set it off so we want the object to be around for exactly one step so the way to do that in reality is to set it to two don't ask me why that's just how it counts and how it works so you don't need to know why it does that you just need to know that it does that and how to deal with it is just adding one so that way we get we have two and it stays there for one whole step and then it destroys itself because on alarm zero we have a piece of code that just says instance underscore destroy and then set of parentheses and a semicolon it just goes away so it stays around for one step um, that's all it does it's not visible it's not solid and it you can set it to whatever sprite you want hopefully 32 by 32 and it should be centered whatever your sprite you choose just make sure this right centered um, so it seems like a useless object but it's not because um, we're gonna put a lot in here and now we have bullet underscore self. When it is created, we have a piece of code. It's the exact same piece of code. I'm going to show you where you can get the same line of code. Bullet underscore enemy. If you go into create, you can copy this line of code. Say so control C after you highlight it all. And go into there and paste it in. And the difference you'll have to make after you paste it what you have to do is um, the way the function works is you have to put in the self.x count self.y as reference to where it's close to 
and then you have to put a comma and then the object you're checking for because what we're doing is the move underscore towards underscore point and then in parentheses instance underscore nearest so we're just beelining it towards this and what we're going to do is we're going to change ship underscore worker to attack underscore spot that object that's only around for one step well it's going to be created every step by our enemies when they're attackable so we're going to put attack underscore spot where ship underscore worker was before in this line of code and then uh, in outside room we just have the same thing instance underscore destroy so if it goes outside the room it's done and it goes towards the spot which our enemies create which is our next thing enemies creating them uh, you don't have to put it in the create event but uh, if left pressed add the uh, event left pressed and then just write attacked equals one semicolon so attacked is going to be a vari variable that will say whether we're attacked or not and uh, collision with bullet underscore self we have life equals life minus one semicolon attacked equals one semicolon and we have another piece of code that says instance underscore destroy but if you look up here we hit other and that'll go whatever the collision event was or whatever brought upon it so since this collision event was brought upon bull underscore self bull underscore self will be destroyed uh, so that makes us attacked we're attacked if we're clicked on or collide with another bullet and finally we have step and in step we add two more things of code we have if attacked equals one in parentheses then we write instance underscore create and then in parentheses self dot x comma self dot y comma attack underscore spot and parentheses semicolon so only if we're attacked do we create the spots which uh, workers will attack if they're told to then we have if life equals zero instance underscore destroy so if we're out of life by getting hit by too many bullets you're done you're destroyed then we have alarm zero which i don't think we need to do any changing for no we do not um and then create we have this life equals five for the annoying lower uh, ai and then all this code is the same except for under create we have life equals ten and you can make your own lives how you, uh, how you want to do it um, so that's that for the enemies now we're all set everything's prepped so that we can now make the ship underscore worker uh, shoot and attack these guys and then after we do the code for that we can duplicate it and add it for a fighter the fighter will be exactly like the worker but with more life uh, more damage bullets well, I mean faster bullets and um, what else oh and it can't collect resources so it's not the same functionality as a worker it's a fighter and it goes and does that very well so that's what we're doing next time uh, it's just this should be this up the same time as this video so just a quick look for it thanks for watching please rate and please comment